Japan is famous for having some of the best cities in the world, but the countryside is home to some of the most friendly people and unique experiences. Join me today as I meet some locals and explore everything these small towns have to offer. Minasan, konnichiwa, skushitoke, yakuso! Today we are in Shiobara, at least that's where we're going to be starting our day and we're going to be exploring all around the area, meeting different people and just having a great time. Anyway, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. We are at Nasu Shiobara City Hall and I've just been given this happy and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we spent the night in one of my favorite places, Akasawa Onsen Ryokan in Shiobara. Our journey then started at the local government office. So the wind here is a little bit crazy today. It's quite surprising if you think we're only a couple of hours away from Tokyo and yet Tokyo is quite warm at the moment. But here it's so much colder and very windy. The bus is coming! Unlike most buses, U-Bus is run by Nasu Shiobara City and not a private company. It operates across six routes. Everyone at the city hall was so friendly and nice and now we're on this bus and it takes you through such an amazing route. The scenery is gorgeous. The bus is so spacious. I can't believe it. It's so comfortable. You can go to Hinoi Matamura from Shiobara Onsen by train and bus. However, there are only two buses a day during the winter months. In summer, you can go further along to Uanuma via Oze. It's crazy that I'm on a bus and I get a mountain view. There's so much snow here, it's really beautiful. I love it. I could look at it all day. It's so beautiful, really. So we're going to be arriving soon, so I should probably press the button. That's so satisfying. <laughs> That was such a lovely bus journey. The views were utterly breathtaking. And honestly, even if I didn't have a destination to go to, I would love to get on that bus just for fun. It was so, so pleasant. Anyway, we are here at the station now because we're going to be getting a train next. This area is surrounded by magnificent scenery and the train station is absolutely no exception. It's amazing that you can be waiting for a train here and just be looking at this scenery. It really makes everything so much nicer. Like how many train stations have you been to with scenery like this? It's incredible. The other thing is you can actually buy a ticket on the train here because this is such a small station. There aren't always staff here to help you get a ticket. So you can buy it on the train itself, which I thought was pretty interesting. It's a very quiet area. It's so peaceful. It's lovely. The train's coming! <laughs> We took the Riverty Aizu train for a 10 minute journey from Kami Miyori Shiobara Onsen Guchi to Aizu Kogen Ozeguchi. So we've arrived at our next destination, but we do have to get on another bus. It's actually snowing here at the moment and I've seen so many skiers. So I think this must be a popular area for winter sports. But yeah, we're getting on our next bus now and I'll meet you at the next destination. So let's go. So we've arrived at Tateiwa Banya and it's really lovely here. Again, it's super scenic. There are so many cute little houses and I can't wait to explore. So we're about to head into Michinoeki and I'm excited. Let's go. It's really cozy in here and there's so much stuff you can buy. They also serve hot drinks and food as well. So they have everything you could possibly need, including rice. They sell quite a lot of rice here and it's really packaged in such a lovely way. So even though it's freezing outside, I could not resist trying a soba soft serve ice cream. This area is actually really famous for soba. So that's the reason why they have this ice cream. Itadakimasu.
that is delicious you can taste the soba flavor and it's very rich and creamy oh this is good <laughs> i don't care how cold it is outside this is fantastic mm. it's really nice to eat sweet treats like this and also admire this gorgeous view there's so much snow and you can see the mountains it's really lovely so if you look closely you can see some dark flecks in there and that's soba this is so good also the cone is very interesting it's darker than usual and it's kind of got an oval shape i can't wait to try that part next we headed to showamura town hall to meet the mayor and find out everything we needed to know about this charming town what's one thing you really want people to know about this area カラムシオリです。カラムシオリはカラムシ青そという植物から繊維を取り出して糸にして織り上げる。すべてが手作業の昔ながらの伝統文化です。え、おそらくこれは一人の人で栽培から織りまでやれる人もいますけれども、日本
Ooh. It hits the back of your throat a bit, but I like it. <laughs> we're here in Kaneyama town, which is famous for natural soda. So we're going to explore this now. And I'm very excited because natural soda, I'm not sure if I've heard of that before. So yeah, let's find out more. Ooh, this is so interesting. You can see that the water, and actually you can hear it too. You can hear it bubbling underneath here. This is so crazy. I didn't know natural soda existed. I know that might be weird, but I just have never heard of it. I just assumed that the carbonation was always something that was added. I didn't know that you could get it naturally. So this is really cool. So they actually bottle this water and sell it here in vending machines. And the whole point of it is, first of all, it's natural, but second of all, the sparkle, the carbonation is quite subtle, which makes it much, much easier to drink than regular carbonated water. Because I know sometimes that can be too strong and it can make you a bit uncomfortable after. So the fact that this has a delicate sparkle to it kind of makes it more appealing. Kampai. Oh, that's really quite pleasant. Oh yeah, that is a light carbonation. Oh, that's nice. That's like if you want something in between a regular mineral water and a sparkling one, this is like the perfect in between. The Tadami line is coming. <laughs> It's so cool, they're all waving from the train. <laughs> so you might have noticed that that train is actually quite small and there's only two cars, but it's meant to be an incredibly scenic route. And just from where we're standing, you can see why it goes straight past those mountains there. We also briefly spoke to the mayor of Kaneyama. We are now at Aizu Oisho station and we are going to be getting the Tadami line. So that's that small train we saw earlier and we're going to be getting it to Tadami station. But I can't quite believe how small this station is here. I had to look at it a few times to make sure it was actually the station. But yes, this is probably the smallest station I have ever seen in my entire life. So as you can probably tell, there's no staff here or anywhere to buy a ticket. So the only way to purchase a ticket on the Tadami line is on the train itself. The train's here. The Tadami line runs through Fukushima and Niigata. You can only catch it three times a day, so being on it feels like a truly special experience. It's nice to see so many little houses spread out between mountains with rivers going through. It's so picturesque. We're now arriving at Tadami and this is where we're going to be getting off. We arrived in Tadami and it was completely covered in snow. We headed over to the town hall to get some more information about the area. Tadami Machi no hall, これからですね、あの三年から四年後にあの八十里越峠というところの道路が開通しますので、塩原とかからの周遊コースとか、タダミ線も活用したですね、観光の受け入れっていうのをこれからすごく。Okay, well, that's it for today's video, you guys. I have had so much fun gallivanting around the Japanese countryside. It was great to meet so many different people. I got to talk to the mayor, which is unreal, honestly. Everyone was so friendly, and there's actually quite a lot to do here. The whole experience was really interesting, and I really recommend for you guys to come and spend some time in this area. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What is your favorite rural area of Japan? You might catch me there soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!